Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be sharing a real side dream experience from my book, Chronicles of a Cosmic Space Case. The link to this book and book three of my real side experiences are in the links below the description of this video, including a link to the website Dwayne the Great Writer dot net where new books one to nine can be purchased from lulu dot com in paperback and the Kindle editions from Amazon dot co dot uk Dream 39 Astral Nasties in the Darkness Before I came to find the new presentation, I was a practitioner of astral and out-of-body projection and on occasion, I may inadvertently find myself doing just this. As when the conditions are just right, it's rather easy to do so. I will generally exit my physical vehicle and find myself in my house initially. Then I will go out into the street and beyond a certain point a kind of a boundary, if you please. I will then find myself somewhere in the astral. Back then, I didn't really know where I was going, but with the knowledge of the new presentation, I know it to be the astral, usually, as I say, I reach my street, and I can expect to find a few variations to the physical level version and a few people wandering about. Sometimes they can perceive me, and we can converse. Sometimes not. Sometimes I bump into a universal guide here also, on several occasions, it has been Ramu that I have encountered here. On this occasion, however, the street was very dark, and yes, the street can vary from day to night, but this darkness was very oppressive, very thick, 
and encompassing. Indeed, it was rather hard to see anything. Sometimes it takes a while for the astral perception to kick in, and my surroundings are hard to discern like a mist. But with patience, the astral unfolds before me. From here, we can see how individuals unpracticed in astral projection and other life level recognition can be on these levels and not be able to see a thing. As the guides will take us about the creational levels to afford recognitional practice if we sing the new you and get on board with our awareness becoming. But here the darkness would remain. I could see no other individuals, just this foreboding, blanketing blackness. There was something in the darkness, movement, a vague impression, hard to determine precisely, but there seemed to be shapes slightly differentiated from the blackness and the impression of eyes and further real self warnings of malice. Naturally, I didn't want to converse with these creatures. Maybe entities of a kind, right at home, in this oppressive darkness. I would return to my physical vehicle. I simply imagine my physical body, and I always will return to it, regardless of where in the astral I might be on such projection excursions. But with the added awareness I have, I could sense these creatures were following me through from the astral to the physical. For yes, we do open portals if we project in this fashion, temporary or permanent according to how persistently we indulge in such what would be for most flights of fancy, but I've experienced this before. An inadvertent projection, a portal created, and things following me through, and the new you song comes to the rescue. Singing this song 
seals the portals. I have the impression of their closure, and the individuals wishing to use this convenient doorway have it slammed in their faces, and they are denied. So, what I can say is this. The new you song, once again, is a handy tool for our connection to the ears and a demonstration of intent, giving the green light for the real guides to assist us in our ears recognitional endeavours. It also is useful for dispelling unwanted individuals from our midst, seem as the unaware with ill intent cannot stand in the face of the true light vibrational frequency of the new you song. It is like the armour of the ears, and it also seals these portals. Many a time have I made an accidental portal and felt something coming through, and the new you song seals it right up. It is the true reality plumbing that can seal any hole between creational life levels. If the portal is being utilised with intentions not of a beneficial nature. Thank you for listening to this video, and if you want to hear more, subscribe to my channel to find further recordings, and to keep updated with all the latest new presentation videos. Dwayne the Great Writer is making himself available for those who want to know more and see more and be more than just having another ordinary, unaware life on this purposely poisoned planet. Create your new session with Dwayne the Great Writer, and discuss any topic you like. Here are some examples to discuss. Personal, financial, relationships, dreams, government, 5G, GMO, chemtrails, vaccines, harp, military, secret service, spying, subliminal tap lining, conspiracy, angels, 
gods, fairies, ghosts, aliens, reptilians, religious, spiritual, governments, monarchy, and anything that pertains to what you are experiencing in this creation bubble, and also the real universes of real freedom. Learn to get your own answers. New sessions start at 30 minutes at one dollar, one US dollar into PayPal a minute and can be as much time as needed. And yes, the way Duane writes his new words refers to something more than what is known here, and this is where you decide to recognise what is real now with all life, or continue on as you have with just another personal life in an ageing body form. Contact Kevin Smith UK and Dean Val USA on Facebook and YouTube. Additionally, an official new presentation club is now available. The New Awareness Club, membership to which is one dollar per month through PayPal. Click on the New Awareness website link below the description of this video. And from there, navigate to the forum site and register, which serves as a home base for the club.